start sandblasting and put sand uh, everywhere. <laughs> Couldn't tell by the long little intro thing. Steve and I were up to uh, powder coating again, cleaning stuff up, and uh, we just noticed something that's kind of it's something. <laughs> Yeah, so as you could tell, as you could tell, uh, it's not sealed right. There's sand and there's all kinds of junk coming up from probably every possible corner of that. As you can see, at first we thought it was just coming from the door. That's why there's a bit of build up here, but there's build up in all the corners there underneath on the bottom. Probably not good for my sawzall. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So this is kind of leading into, uh, probably gonna have to overhaul that sandblast machine real soon so like I okay like I just said we're, we're doing some powder coating and stuff Steve brought some more parts I'll just show you real quick we got some this is that a connecting rod uh, no thing no no it looks uh, like it for my LinkedIn oh really oh, okay. Okay. underneath the, uh, the thing around the axle there oh yeah uh -huh. yeah it looks like a connecting rod thing. <laughs> okay so we've got more suspension parts and I'm just fixing up this I'll insert some clips here, but here's a seat bracket that I made for the Evo seat. So that it can go into the El Camino, I'm just Taking the flat disc, getting rid of my nasty welds, making it kind of look cool. So we're doing that today, we're powder coating. So I got my piece already, Steve's just blasting off some parts. And we'll get to work on uh, doing some powder coating. We're gonna probably make all of my part black. I'm not sure what color we're doing his yet, but we'll figure it out, it'll be fun. I'm gonna go film the process and stuff and we'll just get in it. Alright, so everything is blasted, looking good. Tell I've been working on the El Camino in the background because we can only use so many tools at the same time before blowing the power up. So, note for the next shop is to be able to use the welder and the stove at the same time and the compressor. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of power. be honest for a minute the reason why I'm not really filming and talking too much as we're working today is because we got the tunes going on we're jamming some music we're getting to work and uh, you know I don't want to get no copyright slashes on my channel So it's technically the second time we're using, second or third time we use this little setup here. Second time. Can I get a review? Do you like it? Do you enjoy it? Is it's it good? Nice. Does it, Helping does it hit all the right spots? Yeah. Anything you think we should change on it? Well, maybe make that stand a little sturdier, but uh... oh, I was talking about the, the gun. Oh, that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. We got a to it. Oh, good. Yeah. This we need to. Okay, so this we gotta figure out how to stiffen up the piece that holds it. I wonder if we could put like a just stronger nut and bolt on it. Really yeah, clamp it down. And this worked out well. The only thing was we had to put these cheap little weights on the bottom because uh, it was falling over as we were working with it. But it definitely makes the job easier. That was the idea. So as per usual, we're preheating the oven. We're gonna cook these parts to clean them and then powder it up 
and cook them again and we will have our finished product. We put this little piece down here because we haven't used this blue yet. Where's the, you got it there? Show me the color, show me the color. This is the, what color is it? Powder Ford Light Blue. Huh. Yes, I got you to say it. I didn't want to say the word. <laughs> uh -huh. So we're going to try the Powder Light Blue. This was, and this was Rally Blue, right? Eh? Yeah. So this was the Rally Blue, but it's kind of translucent. You can see through it. I'm assuming this blue won't be like that. It might be more like the red that we did before. The other color is more of a solid look at that. But we're gonna find out. We're gonna test these colors. Also, this gives us a chance to test exactly how many parts we can do in one shot. So Steve took the time to put all this together. Very good challenge. <laughs> and the trick here is that you gotta get all your wires. That's where the gator clip is gonna hook onto for the positive ground, negative, whatever. <laughs> positive ground. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the current comes from. That's what gives it the magnetic sticky, make the powder stick on the part. So he did this intricate web of stainless steel wire on everything. And we're gonna see how it works. Hopefully we get good coverage for all these parts in such a condensed area. Definitely be good to know. We could do all kinds of stuff at once. Mass production. Discovered last time that the it's not the same bottle, eh? I don't think so. We we're kinda hoping to be able to just put that bottle straight on the gun, but the ends are a little bit different. Well, maybe, they it were. Difficult. maybe yeah. It didn't work last time. What's going on? Funny. Yeah. There you have it. <laughs> Perfect. So we don't have to invest in paper funnels anymore. <laughs> no, I guess we're good. Cool. Yeah. On the end of the day, we knocked it out of the park again. We're getting the hang of this thing. Happy with it? Yeah, I'm pretty happy. Compared to what it looked like before, it's pretty good. These are all parts for Steve's truck that he's working on at home. We're gonna get to see that real soon because I'm gonna go down there and we're gonna help him out do some body work and stuff like that and get the thing all back together. So you'll be able to see what uh, this is for. 
And also too, I'm gonna throw in eventually when we get there, some before pictures and then so you can kind of see the whole progress and the difference that it made. So I guess that's it for today. Thanks for sticking around guys and enjoy the ride. If you can't fix what you